Thea, you go from assistant, chief of staff, president of Blue Flame, president of Combs Wine and Spirits, president of Combs Enterprises. Did I name them all? Mostly. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Another compliment I have to give you, and I think it's important for all of the ladies who are in the building. Again, Dear Sims is our first um, lady to grace the, the, the power move, make a stage. Dear, and I say this in, I know we're in the Me Too era, so I'm going to watch my words very carefully. I think you're safe. You're safe, so. But <laughs> I've never heard a peep of any rumors, any, and you went, you work, like, I'm from Bad Boy. It's, it's a guy-driven company. Mm -hmm. It is a male-driven culture in music and entertainment. Yeah. You're extremely effective in managing Puff and all of his affiliate businesses. But the way you carry yourself with such class and grace, and to this day, I, I, you know, I can barely, I don't know anything about, I know you're married, all of that good stuff. For any women out there, what are some of, I guess, the jewels you can give them in, in, in terms of, in, and I guess I'll say it the way Jay-Z said it, you move Show through a room full, full of vultures. vultures. That's a fact. <laughs> Crazy. No, 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 yeah. And I think that, um, I don't know, I think I feel like we kind of grew up, this is something and I'm happy, not just me, I feel like I have a group of women who are amazing around me that understand that exact point. Like I could think of times, even growing up well before, where being in environments that, you know, you had to ensure you were being treated like a lady, right? So I am a little old fashioned in that respect of, um, you know, I know it's a newfangled era, but I do feel like I, I, I love being a woman. Like I'm happy to be, like I, I, honestly, this is an exciting new thing for me. Like I've literally used to just, literally just wear dresses only. So I'm like, I'm gonna wear pants, I'm 44. <laughs> like, but, uh, <laughs> but um, you know, I think it's important when you think through the gravitas that you move throughout this world. I mean, women are so enormously powerful. And I think when you stand in that grace, people can sense that. Um, uh, for me, though, I was very intentional in the beginning. And I don't, I, I'll give you one example. Going back to promoting parties, right? Again, very different time 20 years ago. So when we were promoting parties, I would give the women I work with um, clipboards. Because if not, Dude, somebody's gonna try and smack you on the butt or this and that. But once you put a clipboard in your hand, all of a sudden it was like, oh, excuse me, miss, which way did it So I've always, I literally call it like the clipboard effect that everywhere I went after that, I tried to mentally think through what is that essence in the way that I'm gonna move in a room that says I'm here for business. Like I'm strictly here for business. And I'm, I'm happy, I'm gonna be cool, I'm pleasant, I love life, but it's not about um, anything. I'm here at work to work. Um, you know, so in the beginning, I would have no, and I actually don't suggest this, right? Because I think I, I respect so much how women now are like, nah, I don't have to have props. I don't need a clipboard taken seriously. Like, it's a different time. But when I started, I had no personal pictures. All the party, I grew up in this whole era. I didn't, you, for the first probably seven years, nobody saw me do a two-step at a party. Like, I mean, I was very intentional about like, I'm pleasant, but I'm not, I'm not here for a good time. I'm here. If I'm going to spend all this time here, I have an objective to move forward. And it's for the financial enrichment for me and my family. Okay, and, and, and it's obvious that you were very intentional, but so many women, and I want you to speak to the women in particular in business, so many women find such a hard time walking the line of being, am I too friendly, am, am, you know, am I overly friendly? Right, not friendly and enough. Not yeah. friendly enough, yeah. and you know, if so, am I perceived as the B word? I never got that from you. Like, you, you always had to smile, you always were very inviting. Um, obviously, you were intentional about not being too, you know, friendly with everybody. But you walk a line in a way that I, that I haven't seen many women in corporate environments be able to walk. What is the secret there? I mean, I think I'm also very, I don't know if this is just for women, but... I think what is the foundation of what you're going into work, right? I am like I am a very happy person in general. Like because I wake up very grateful like just for waking up. Like my mother has um like advanced multiple sclerosis. So all my life, like I've seen her grow from waking up at 5 a.m., running miles, 
packing our lunch. She was like very, as you can imagine, like very energetic to like not physically being able to walk. <clears throat> but it didn't matter. Like I would come home at a, like when I come home from school, she's still like if she couldn't walk, she would have figured out how to put two boxes and a thing and a banana peel and put up a curtain and still make us. So she's always been like um, grateful, great sense of humor, and figures out how to get things done. Um, so for me, I'm like if I wake up and both my feet hit the ground, everything after that is added value. And no matter what your gender is or whatever gender you identify with. Um, I think I do, I, I really, really believe from my heart that like everyone has something to learn, and everyone has something to teach. So I think I try to approach every relationship like that because I really respect every human being. I think there's an opportunity for us to be the worst and the best. Um, and if I at all can send out any light that will reflect the best in you, um, I try to do it. And I, it works, like for me, like my husband even jokes, he was like, you live in like a charmed world. And I was like, maybe, but I think people tend to reflect what you give off. Um, so if I have a, a lot of wonderful experiences and people treat me well, I think it's because I treat people well. And that is gender agnostic. That's a great point. That's a great point that anybody can take, one male or female. It's a great point. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.